Hey guys, back with another Maple Story M video here. This time, I'm addicted to the triple zero challenge right now, trying to do it on all the counts that I can. Um, so if you haven't seen my previous video, uh, this is the same day that I did my shade triple zero count. I was feeling, feeling spicy, feeling uh, up for the challenge, feeling good. So of course I went with the wind archer. Um, surprisingly, the wind archer, this was my, maybe my first or second attempt. Um, you know, surprisingly, the Win Archer wasn't half bad. That um, 30 second iframe is really, really convenient. Um, has a lot of just a short CD, allows for a lot more utility and flexibility with the skill, especially towards the end of the fight. Um, helps me immune kind of the dash, the spin moves, which I like to use it most frequently. Um, but it's kind of just very convenient. Even I'm trying to not use uh, um, all cures if I don't have to. Just for an extra challenge, I don't know. Um, but as you can see, Win Archer is not half bad, kind of doing pretty good damage. Win Archers do consistent, really good consistent damage. And their mobility is really, um, really, really good. You can kind of dash in and out and that up jump if I need to. And of course, this iframe right here, really helpful, allows me to stay on the boss and most importantly, stay inside the force field so I don't take any ticking damage. Um, Towards the end of the fight, really need to focus on not taking any damage at all. Obviously, when archers don't um, have heals, so um, all that extra damage I have to avoid. Pretty much, um, be honest with you, I I can't get hit by anything. If I get hit by any of these spins, dashes, um, I'm gonna die because I it, the HP pot can't heal through the bleed damage. So basically, it has to be a perfect run or um, I'm gonna fail and that's kind of the fun the challenge the craziness the um that had that i've had had with this um and i was surprised at how well this went um i wouldn't post it if i didn't clear it um maybe i could show my fails eventually <laughs> aka the wild hunter um but uh this is as clean as it gets i was really surprised two minutes you can see about 50 percent. so definitely a good time um gonna be much better than my paladin and my uh demon slayer which is no surprise uh win archers are pretty uh their uptime is really good and the mobility they can just constantly attack so um it's no surprise that this time was really good and this win archer is, is really really strong as well um so i'm really uh excited to kind of show this is a long fight obviously longer than it normally is but had a lot of fun. I was really on top of my game today on this one. Um, had to be, or else I was going to die. So um, about three minutes in, you know, everything looks smooth so far. Really am not taking any damage at all. Got lucky with the orbs right there. Was able to dodge it. Um, I think I cheated a little bit because I'm using fevers. Um, I don't think that was part of the challenge, but um, I used it. So it kind of is what it is. Um I didn't use anything else just other than drop rate uh, buff. And uh, I think the fevers kind of helped me in some situations with the speed buff mainly. Um, so kind of cheated the challenge a little bit. But um, yeah, it, you can see um, three and a half minutes. I don't think I had hit at all by an orb, by a spin move, anything like that. So um, it's going well. But as you know, um, one slip up and I'm dead. So right here, use the iframe and... Um, the main goal towards the end is just save it, save that iframe for kind of a dire situation. I'm trying to speed, kind of speed dash in so I don't take any damage getting back into this small force field right here. Um, and the wind archer mobility obviously is super key right here. Got lucky with the orbs again. Um, but you see kind of scared right here. The HP is going down and down and down. Had to use decided not to use the iframe right there because I was able to up jump. So that was a little play that I think helped me in the long run, allowed me to stay um, inside the portal as well, inside the force field to not take any dot damage and also save my iframe for kind of a another situation. And as you can see, my HP got back up to 197. So that's really, really nice. And here, I think I'm gonna use my iframe. Yep, oh, I stunned it. Well, nice job there. Um, I think I'm going to use my iframe right here and just try to burst him down. Um, DPS 
and I was able to do it. Honestly, probably the most insane run that I've done. Um, that was just honestly the perfect run. Um, but thanks for watching. See you next time.